Do you remember the first time that you fell in love <laughs> and the guts that it took to actually do something about it? Swing for the Fences, Gilly Bronstein has written a book, fiction, which I have to say when I was reading it, I assumed it was a bit of a memoir. You've written it in the first person and that was obviously a deliberate choice on your part. Uh, yes, it was, Joanne. You know, although the book is fiction, the, the message is real and it, that's what I'm trying to get across to youth here. Well, Swing for the Fences, and I could kind of guess from the title what was going to happen uh, or what the story was going to be about, but you've, you've packaged that idea of, of having the strength and the bravery to go, to go for your choices in life in the, in the story of a romance. So can you tell our viewers a little bit about what the story is about? Right. Well, um, you know, the title Swing for the Fences is, is, it's misleading. Most people think it's a book about baseball, right. but um, it's actually, you know, an adventure romance. It's a fictitious story of a boy who travels from the prairies across Canada to Quebec to, to find true love. And it starts in Winnipeg, which I think is, I always love reading books that take place in Winnipeg. And you've, you've made a point of deliberately setting it in a very realistic setting. Mm -hmm. And that is so that I guess teens can kind of relate to it. Right, it's done from a prairie perspective. So it, it's relatable, it has modern things mentioned in it, such travel, internet, things like that. And I know that one of the reasons that you wanted to write this book was that feeling that, that teens really need something to connect to where they, where they can feel their own experiences mirrored in a book? You know, there's not enough literature out there for, for teens to relate to, and that, that's what I tried to do with this book, keep it modern and... And real. Relevant, yeah. And, and I mean, there's so many great teen books out there that are vampires and Harry Potter and whatnot, and there's no vampires <laughs> in this book. One of the things I also wanted to talk about was, and I know this will mean a lot to, the, to people who are aspiring writers out there, you're young. You just turned 23, right. and you've got your first book published, mm -hmm. self-published, and I have interviewed so many authors, especially in the last year, I'm noticing more and more authors that are becoming self-published, and that is such an empowering sense when, you, when you've when you written a book to see it on, on the bookshelves. So for people out there who are kind of thinking, how do they get started? How did you get started? It all starts with an idea. You yeah. have to have an idea that, hey, I'm going to write a book. And you know, your friends, family, they all think you're crazy, but it's something you got to go for. And you just go right from there. So what kind of reaction have you been getting? Overall, it's been a positive reaction. Um, people feel they can relate to certain characters in the book as well as the main character. And you know, that's, that's the main thing that people get the message that you give life your all and you, you go for what you truly desire. And that is definitely the message of a Swing for the Fences, no matter what the outcome, is that what's important is that you've tried. Exactly. Yeah. And you have a reading coming up here at Grant Park on Wednesday, May 27th, right. and that's a great opportunity for, uh, for especially teenagers to come down and hear exactly. your book, and you pre-teenagers. Come, come on down. It's, uh, it's going to be at 7.30 on the 27th. Um, there's also more information available at swingforthefences.ca about that. Perfect. Thanks very much, Gilly. For sure. Thank you, John. And coming up as well this Thursday, Rami Mays, her new CD is out and aching in your bones. And it, just like everything she does, it's phenomenal. So Rami and her band invited us into their living room, unplugged, stripped down, very raw, uh, gave us a great interview. The uh, show is coming up Thursday at the Pyramid, 8 o'clock. Make sure you check it out. Rami's interview is coming up in just a moment. But first, Shot TV's Kim Babbage shows you what's new at the Downs in the racing season for 2009. You are...